Hey everyone, how are you? Well, it is Friday and I am very excited because I got two words for you. Dr. Strange. Uh, we got tickets for the whole family. We're going. I got my Avengers shirt on. Uh, I'm ready. I am uh, unusually excited for this particular film, so I'm looking forward to it. But let's get back to work on our Buick here. Um, I think I'd like to work some more on the front. I think maybe these headlights and this piece right here, this uh, grill, maybe these look like something that might be kind of fun. So let's work on this. I think I'm going to block in this grill here. Let's try that. And to me, it looks like it's a cube with the front faces off and then the back edge kind of pulled forward, I think. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go ahead and create a cube and pull that forward here. Um, we are going to need the back side of this. This is going to be interesting because we may have to flip the normals on that back face. But first of all, let's go and insert an edge loop right down the center again. And let's get rid of the ones on this side. There we go. All right, so now what I want to do is put it in place. Let me go to my front view and orthographic. I want to put it up here in place. Scale it to size, something like this. Um, let me grab that face and move it over like that. Now, let's add a mirror modifier to it. And uh, turn on clipping. Okay. Uh, let's get it in place. Let me go like this. Let me go to the top view. See if we can kind of get it in place. And what I want to do is a couple things. First of all, what I want to do is move this back. So let me see if I can find where that's supposed to be placed. Well, yeah, my views are off, but that's okay. Um, because ultimately, I'll be doing everything kind of by eye to get everything in place at the end anyway. But, all right. So if we take that face, right, and if we move it back, see how this is kind of tilted back in line with that, with the top of the hood? Let's take this and just drag it straight back. Like that. Now it looks like the whole thing could come up in front of the hood some like that. But if I take that face and drag it back like that. All right. Now let's delete this face. Yeah, and there's the inside of our grill, right? And now maybe we take this edge here and pull it forward some like that. So we're getting kind of that shape there. Now, it may have pulled that back a little too far, but something like that. We've got that kind of angled area there. Yeah, that might work. Pull that up a little more. Pull these up a little more, maybe. Kind of like that. Now, as I said, the, the n normals are in the wrong position, so let me hit control in and flip those around. And in addition, you know what? I didn't turn on my screencast. My apologies. Let's turn that on. There we go. All right, so we've got the basics of the grill there. Um, let's select that edge here and just give us that little edge all the way around. Now, this is kind of curved here, so I think this would probably be a good um, candidate for beveling these edges right here. Let's work on that. Um, I will need to probably apply my transforms for my scale. Yeah, if you see how the scale here is um, has values other than one. 
And what that can do for you sometimes, let me just show you, see if I can get it to screw up so that we can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and select those edges and press Control B. And if I, yeah, it's it's doing it, but it's, let's see if we can see a, a difference if I hit Control A and apply the scale. This may not be a good example of it, but that's okay. We can... There. And I think you can see that that's a little more uniform than the other one. The other one was kind of flat on top. But anyway, uh, you will sometimes need to apply the transforms for the scale when using bevel to get it to work the way you want. Um, yeah, that's kind of... That's, that's nice. Let's do that. All right. Um, then let's take that edge and I want to hit E and scale in the Z and scale in the X just a bit like this. I'm just trying to get that rim around the grill there like right in here. And yeah, I know that the trunk or the hood splits down here and splits through the middle. I'm not going to get this detailed, honestly. The hood isn't going to open up. I'm not going to worry that much about that. Um, so just to let you know, it's not going to be that detailed. So I'm just scaling out again and in the X and then pulling I think I'll pull that back just a hair like that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the normals are still not quite right. What's up with that? Let me uh, do that again. Let me select everything. Control N. Now it should be... Oh, I can tell it to be on the inside. No? Yeah. I think that, yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, and now this interior part here, right in here. Let's see if we can uh, maybe use an extrusion. Let's try this. Um, it's going to, see if I hit E and then extrude this in here, it's going to use that all the way across and I don't want that right I only want this side so all I'm going to do is just turn this off for now um, can I turn it off or can do I have to delete it completely let's find out I kind of forget there we go okay so I can just turn it off but it doesn't come along now does it yeah it does currently okay so let's do that. Um, what I need to do, I don't think I can do this. No, nope, because I've already... Oh, now I need to figure out... Um, oh, I can slide these. I got to talking and I lost my train of thought. So let me slide these here. No, that's not going to work either. I don't like that. What I want to do is get this rim right in here. This right there. I'd like to just extrude it. But if I have to, I can use brute force. I'm not opposed to doing that. And just model that rim and put it right in there. Um, you know what, let's just uh, well, I'm trying to think what I want to do. Do I want to model that rim as it is or do I want to actually try and get this to work by extruding. I think I'll be better off just trying to model it outright. 
So let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and select this and I'll just move the cursor to it. Uh, cursor to selected and now when I create a cube it'll come in through there. It'll come in right to that point and I can try and just as I say, brute force this <laughs> into working. Yeah, there's probably a better way, but the problem is I find that if I spend too much time actually trying to think about the best way to do it, the quickest way to do it, I spend an hour trying to think of it, and then by the time I'm done with all that, I could have just done it. I could have just sat down and got it done, you know? in the time it takes me to figure out the quote best way to do it I could be done so sometimes I just like to jump in begin working and see what happens alright so what I'm going to do with this is extrude scale in to build that frame and then I'm going to extrude back like that and delete it. There we go. Now we've got something that looks kind of like that frame. Um, I'm going to, it's going to need to be a little bit wider here. Something like that. Now what I can do is give it a little bit of a curve there. So let's try that. Once again I'm going to apply the scale, select these edges here, and then let's bevel these. Control B. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad all already, just like that. That'll work. Um, I can also maybe bevel kind of the outside here. Let's try that. Too much. Let me Move the mouse in like that. Yeah. And let's uh, smooth it. Okay. And let's put it in place. So I'm going to go to the top view and just rotate it into place. Something like that. Let's see how this worked. Alright. So we just need to scale it in some, right? Maybe make it a little taller. And I'll actually grab Oh, I can. Oh, I'm not in line, see? Dang it. Let me try and get that a little bit better. There we go. Let's see how that works now. So, there we go. And I know I'm going to have lots of people going, you could have just done this, you could have just done that. Why didn't you use, why didn't you use that tool? You know what, in the end, no one's going to know. Well, okay, so you're going to know <laughs> because you sat here and watched me. <laughs> but, ultimately, if you're building a piece of furniture or a house, and you use a, a radial saw, a radial saw instead of a table saw. No one cares, you know. But for some reason, when you don't use the tool that someone thinks you should in Blender, people get all bent out of shape. Um, and 
no one says things like, you know, why didn't you use a 2B pencil instead of an HB pencil in that drawing? Well, it's just part of the part of your artistic choices as an artist, right? Boy, I'm people are going to comment on this, aren't they? <laughs> These are unpopular views. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we got that grill here. I just think you need to just do your thing and begin working and not get so caught up with what tool is, quote, the best tool for whatever. Because anytime you make a decision to use a tool, um, you're making a decision to, to, to not use half a dozen other tools. So just go with it. Okay, so if you notice here when I tried to mirror again, that didn't work out. I could come up here and hit Control A, apply the the, ro the rotation to it, so it's zeroed out, and now it pops over here to where we want it to be. All right, so there's that grill, the basic outline of that grill. Let's think about these headlights now. Let's try and see what we can do with these headlights. Now these are interesting because this is always an interesting conundrum. How do you put a round peg in a square hole? All right, these, this is kind of a squarish panel. How do you cut a round circle out of a square panel? Now, you can use the Boolean modifier, but sometimes that'll give you a lot of extra edges and triangles that you don't want or even n-gons, which is a polygon that's more than four sides. So, how to do this? Well, you know what? I think we can do it and keep our poly count fairly low. I'm going to come over here to another layer. And let's just build this square piece and then let's kind of implant uh, circular pieces into it. So let me show you what I mean. And once again, there are lots of ways to do this. Don't think that just because I happen to come up with it here, um, spur of the moment, because that's what I'm doing. Um, don't think that I'm implying that this is the only way or the one right way to do it. This is just a way to do it. Watch a lot of different people and um, try and get a lot of ideas about what you can do. All right, so I am going to, let me think about this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to rotate around the X 90 degrees. Excuse me. And I want to scale this to fit kind of the size that I want, something like that. Now I want to insert some edge loops. Um, and for this, I want them to be kind of even, so I'm going to hit the uh, W key and choose subdivide and increase the number of cuts here. Okay, so that's not... Um, is that the right amount? I'm going to need... I'm going to need at least four faces for each of these. So, I'm trying to think. I think this will work. Let me try this. If I scale this in the Z, so that's going to be the, how wide these are. Um, I'm going to try and put this, say, right about here. And this right about here. Here. So these are the four faces I'm going to use right there. Now, I want this to be, I'll want this to mirror on the other side. So I'll go ahead and delete these for now. Let's delete those. And let's go ahead and mirror it over because we're going to want that. Okay, so now I can work on just one at a time here. Um... 
what I want to do is delete these. And if you look before, I, well, I can go ahead and delete these. Now, if you look, I've got uh, eight sides here. You can see up here at the at the top, it's got um, edges. There's a total of 36 edges in the objects, and I have eight selected right here. So now what I want is a cylinder with eight sides. So I'm going to um, select this ring, pop the cursor into it. There we go. Now when I create a cylinder, it'll pop into that point. I want eight sides. There we go. Um, I'm going to rotate this around the x-axis, RX90. Uh, I don't need... You know what? I should have had a triangle fan there. Dang it. Let me do that again. Cylinder triangle fan. There we go. Rotate it. Now, I want to go ahead and get uh, rid of all of this stuff here. I don't need all of this. I just need that top piece. There we go. Scale it down. Get it in line. I'm going to center that origin to geometry. Back it up so it's right against there. Okay. Now, scale this in. <clears throat> and now I need to combine these two. Oh yeah, I don't need the mirror quite yet. I'll do that here in a minute. I'll combine this and this. Control J. Now, <clears throat> here's the fun part. I want to connect these two. Um, do I want to bridge? Or do I want to... Yeah, I think I want to bridge. Let me try it. Control E and bridge edge loops. Now if I take this, I can move it back some. All right, so now we've got this here. I can move that back a bit, kind of like that, and that's where that headlight's gonna fit into. Now I may not have needed to even do that, because I think I'm gonna put something in here that isn't quite as blocky as that, but it's still going to be, I think, work out okay. Um, let's go put this in place and see if that circular bit is the right size proportionally for the car. And then we can f finish it up. Move this over. And I know if people are thinking that this was going to be a kind of a a step-by-step -step tutorial, my apologies. <laughs> Obviously it isn't. Um, this is really more me working and hopefully me working can help you a bit in what you do and and not because you do the exact things I do by any means, but because maybe seeing somebody do something a little bit differently than you might have originally thought. Uh, let me do that. Uh, let's select these and I'm going to go ahead and bridge these to add an edge in there. Uh, <laughs> that was extrude. I don't want that. Let's try that again. Control E, bridge edge loops. All right, my goodness. There, Control E, bridge edge loops. There we go, thank you. That was painful. Now, let's go ahead and put um, these in there. Let me see how it looks smoothed. 
That could almost work smooth. I feel like I'd need a, another edge loop around here almost. Um, let's just see if this... No, I don't like that. So let's not smooth it yet. Um, these guys. Let's just do one of these. Move the cursor to the selected. Let's create. Um, let's create a UV sphere. Uh, doesn't need to be this much. Let's try uh, twelve and ten, maybe. Let's try that. Rotate around the X. Uh, let's cut this back side off. We don't need the back back here. Maybe this much. Now, um, let's set that cursor to the center of this circle. Cursor to selected. Um, let's move that pivot point to the selection, to the 3D cursor. Okay, so now if we take a look at this and I'll scale it in the Y, that'll kind of flatten it up a bit. There we go. Get that down into there. Um, maybe scale this out just a little bit. See how this is going to work. Move that in. Now, uh, there's a little bit of a rim around that light right there. I kind of want that. I don't know why, but I kind of want that. Let's see if we can get that. Extrude. Push out. Extrude. Scale out. Extrude. Push in. Like that. Okay. Let me see how it looks smoothed here. Not bad. I could almost split that out. So take that edge and edge split it. Now take this with the L key and scale that out just a bit so it intersects with it a hair. There we go. Yeah, that's a little better. Um, all right, so let's try this. Let's take this piece and just move it over. Put it over here. Let's test this out and just see. Don't know how that's going to work. It may need a little more detail in this part here. I may have um, not put enough detail in the rim around the lights there. And it looks like it's too thick, you know? But if I look at it here... It's got a fairly wide spread between here. That's interesting. So, the re reference images aren't always the greatest. And, frankly, maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe it's just me. Alright, that's a little better. So I've really kind of kept that pretty uh, simple, and that's okay. One of the reasons why I like to block these things out um, in a fairly rough way early on is so that once it's all in there, then I know how much detail I need to finish it off. If I kept going on this and just noodled this until it's just absolutely perfect and really worked on it, it very well could be that once I get the whole car done, I never would have even noticed the difference. So kind of blocking things in like this can help you figure out what needs to be, how much time you need to put in on these, these things. Maybe in the future I'm going to find that I need to put more time into this, and if so, I will. But for right now, 
I'm going to go with this and see how this works. Okay. So, we've got some headlights in there. Um, what else do we want to block in here? How about these uh, rear view mirrors? Let's see if these are... Yeah, these look kind of cool. What if we worked on these things? They look uh, this. I think these are the same. It's kind of hard to tell with the reference images here. I'm going to take these pieces and move them back to layer one with M and one. So now everything's on that first layer, and uh, I'm going to maybe use a different layer and try and work on these rear view mirrors. So let's see. It looks to me like it's this kind of oval shape and then this extrudes off of it and it looks like it kind of comes down and angles in. So let's try that. It is a very kind of all one piece thing. So I don't think I want to do it in two pieces. I like the smoothness of the whole object there. All right, so um, going to just plop the 3D cursor there and let's uh, let's begin with a cube. Yeah, let's try this. So I'm going to scale it down. Get it in place here. The general size. What I like to do is try and get kind of the general shape of the thing and then begin adding details once I get that general shape. So let's say I've got something like this. And now I kind of need an edge loop in here that can give it a little bit more of a curve like that. Let's take a look at it around here. It looks like it's probably too thick. Do I have a view of it from the top? Oh, I do. Look at that. I don't know, that's not really the way it looks to me over here. You know? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like the way the top view looks. Let's keep going here and let's try it. Um, what else can we do here? Well, it looks like it comes in this way as well. So let's scale it in the X like that. That looks kind of good. Okay. Now, you know what? Since we've got that smoothness to it, what I'm going to try here is I'm going to try, first of all, removing this face because I don't want edges to go over that. I am going to try and give this a subdivision surface modifier. And that's kind of nice. That's kind of the sh uh, shape I'm looking for there, isn't it? It's not bad. So what I could do with the views at one here, I mean, I could increase this, but I don't need it quite that much. Um, I could almost, let me try two edge loops in here. How's that? Is that too much? It's not bad. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think I may go with that. Let me hit apply. Let me smooth it. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to grab that edge now and scale it in a bit and push it back some. And there we go. So that'll be where our rear view mirror is. Um, and then we just need to place the rear view mirror in there. 
and it's probably going to be flat. I don't have a picture of it up right here, but um, let's go ahead and put the cursor in there, and uh, let's just add let's add the polygon plane rotated around the X R X. Oop, wrong way. How about um, Rx negative 90? There we go. Scale it down. Let's see if we can get it in here. Wrong way. Let's go that way. I'll scale this in. Scale this to here. And then I think I will um, grab these two edges and I will extrude, scale out in the X, and then scale in in the Z, and that should bring them in. Ah, we're gonna need another extrusion, it looks like. There's that. And then pull this out, and then scale that down. There we go. Okay. Well, don't want that. Maybe uh, grab that face, this line of faces and scale in just a smidge. There we go. All right, so there is that piece. Let's put it back here. How does that look now? All right, almost looks like it needs to be a little bit bigger. Not bad though. Let me grab that whole thing and make it a little bit bigger. Now, for this piece coming down, let's uh, look at a couple of faces down here. Um, would that do it? Is that too much? Ah, uh, it doesn't seem like it'd be too much there now, does it? From the side view. Well, let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? Wait. Don't answer that. All right. <laughs> um, do I want to scale that in just a bit? Yeah, let's do that. Then let's hit extrude and pull that down. And we're going to want it to kind of angle in. Go around the Y here. And I'll extrude again. And Looks a little blocky, but I don't think it'll matter too much. Scale in the Z to even that out a bit. Uh, it's a little, it's a little messy there. I'm not loving it. You know what I could do? Let me go back. Let me just take this straight down and move it straight in. And then, RY, I'll move it in here. And then from here, take that and move it out just a bit. Something like this. Maybe scale it in a hair. Whoa, what did I just do? <laughs> did I do something wrong there? Yes, I did. There we go. 
sometimes I'm flying around with the keyboard shortcuts. All right, let's go with this for now. Once again, blocking it in, seeing what I can get. And then uh, seeing what needs to be done once we get everything in place. Faces, there we go. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it, honestly. I think it's a little bit sloppy. But it's one of those things that I will come back to and see with fresh eyes. Yeah, see, this looks... And you're saying, Darren, you said you'd come back to this. I know, I can't let it go. Help. Have you ever been there before where you just start noodling on something? You know you're not supposed to. You know you've got other things to do, but you just keep noodling on it. All right. So let me try this. Let me save. Let me do that. All right. So that doesn't look, I mean, for, you know, three foot rule. That doesn't look too bad from a few feet away. And generally that may work. Once again, don't noodle it too much until you get all the parts on and you can see as a whole what needs work and what doesn't. So let me save this. Let me, um, I'm going to go ahead and combine the mirror portion with that with control J. So it's all one piece, all one object. And then I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor. And then I'm going to mirror it over like so. And there we go. So there we have the rear view mirror. All right. Um, the door handles. Is that something I want to take on today? Let's take a look at them. You know, I think I'm going to not work on that right now. What about this tail fin? Let's take a look at this. I'm going to need another view here, aren't I? Uh, where's a good, here's a good picture of that tail fin. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at our, ah, okay. It kind of angles and it also curves. Interesting. Let's take a look at the back here. Um, I'm going to go to a new layer so I can see it. Well, that doesn't really look like what we're seeing here now, does it? It looks like this is way too thick. Or is that it tilted? No. That just doesn't look like that's the way it should be, according to... To this and you, you know what I mean it just doesn't look like it should be that thick are we seeing the underneath side of this here I don't think so look how big the logo is there that doesn't seem quite right <clears throat> but we can at least try it here let's just try it at least um, and try and block it in here in the next few minutes so let's go ahead and create a cube. Uh, let's split it down the middle. Like so. Let's get rid of one of these sides. How about, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this side over here with the B key, border select. Get rid of that. Uh, let's give it a mirror modifier here. Clipping, uh, let's go ahead and turn on the edit cage. Let's get back to the back view with control one. And let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it up here. So it's kind of in place now. Gosh, it's hard to tell. I mean, it looks here like it's just straight, but here it's got a curve to it. So I'm not real sure 
what we want to do with this. We could take this and just move it straight out. Let me take a look at this with everything else, the other layers here, and take this over to here and put it in place here. Like that. There we go. Now, let's go back to the back view. Hmm. It looks as if we should extrude this and take it down. Let me go to my quad view, control alt Q, and take a look at it up up here, over here. And this is our back view here, right? All right. So, I guess it is a bit angled here. So that's maybe we're seeing the underneath side of it. Let's bring this up. Angle it a bit. I will scale it. Something like that. Now it looks like this piece is flattened a little bit more. And now we want to extrude it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have rotated it at that point. Because now it's going to be difficult. But that's okay, I'm going to keep going. You can't stop me. I'm going to keep going. May not work out, but let's give it a try. Oop, extrude one more time. Now. Let me take a look at this. It's going to be a mess. No, not too bad, actually. Let me see. So now, let's put it by the car. Yeah, we're going to have to pull that out. But let's now take a look at it with the car, the rest of the car, and see if we can get it to kind of lay down flat. Yeah, so uh, here... Like so. Let me look at it from the top view. Let's see if we can get that to work. Just to block it out, though, that's really what I'm looking for. Yeah, so now I think what I want to do is this kind of connects right there. Okay. What I'll do is I'll take that edge and I'll move it in a bit and up. And I'll take that edge and move it and move it in some like that. So now we've got that kind of in line with the fender there. I think that's what we want. Something like that. Let me grab that face and pull it back a bit. Getting there. Feels like this is still too thick up front. I may be completely wrong because I really don't have a good image of it, but I want to bring that up a little bit here, like that. 
and bring it forward some. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it's good to just kind of have it blocked in there. It's going to need more tweaking, of course, and we could maybe smooth it just to see how it's going to play. Yeah. So, we're still continuing to block in our car. It's beginning to come together. It's beginning to look a little bit more like a car, but we've got more pieces to do. And then once we get all the pieces in, then we need to kind of make a, deci a, a decision about where we need more detail. And then we need to begin to seal them together. We need to be able to extrude and bring things to um, so they connect and kind of seal up the car. I mean, it isn't a watertight, airtight thing, so we, we don't have to have it be completely sealed, but we are going to want to have it so we don't see any of the gaps here. So, there we go. Um, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you enjoy the weekend. I'll see you again on Monday at 1, and uh, I'm going to go see a Marvel movie, Doctor Strange. Have a good one. Bye.